All right, guys. We got a 2014 Mercedes Benz CLA 250. Customer complaint is has a check engine light, and I checked the check engine light code, and it's pertaining to the uh, thermostat. Um, have a uh, low circuit or something like that code. So today uh, we're here trying to uh, see if we can go ahead and replace the thermostat. Uh, this car is located behind the intake manifold, under the intake manifold, which is right there, back of the engine. So that has to be removed. Um, the other body has to be removed. Uh, this pipe right here, this has to also be uh, kind of loosened. Yeah, so you get the picture. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, start taking things off and uh, see where we go from there. I'll try to update you as we go along. All right. All right. Step one: um, disconnect the battery because I'm gonna do an, I'm gonna be disconnecting the PCM, which I already done. Uh, so this whole assembly of PCM and the air duct and all that is going to have to come out of here. So once you disconnect the PCM wiring, put it to the side. I think it's just held on by grommet, so a good tug will definitely get it out of there. And then we're going to have a passageway here. We can uh, disconnect or loosen the uh, coolant hose right there, the radiator hose, uh, to let the water, uh, to let the coolant uh, drain. Okay, we're done out of the way. I just saw a grommet there. That one came out and the one there. And the wiring harness is basically clipped on by those type of clips right there. We got another one here. And that's about it. So now, we get access to this one which I will have to remove from here and let it drain. I'm gonna have to remove that bolt right there. Uh, what else? There's another one right there for this bracket. My hand is on it, my finger. Um, can you get it? Can you get it? Uh, right there. All right. So, and also disconnect the throttle body. In fact, let's put it like that. There you go. And disconnect the throttle body. Um, and then uh, I'll figure out what else we need to take out. Just whatever's in my way until we get to the uh, intake in the back there and do what we need to do. Alright. Alright guys, so made a little bit of progress here. Uh we, as you see the uh, radiator hose is separated from that pipe that's going to the uh thermostat I believe. Uh, um I'm trying to remove the throttle body. So I'm using a combination of uh quarter inch a long extension and a long uh, T20. Um, so, to get to this bolt or the screw that's on the top left, closest to the engine, on the throttle body, I had to basically, this looks like some type of, I don't know, map center or something. I don't know. But I had to at least unscrew it and move it out of the way. And also, this vacuum looks like a vacuum line here uh, that also has, has to move uh, to gain access to that last bolt. The other ones, you don't have to do that, but anyway, uh, I don't know if I can give you a shot there. There you go. So that one is coming out. That's the last bolt. And make sure, of course, you have a magnet on hand because um, as per German cars, a lot of tight clearances and you don't want to drop anything in there. Give yourself a harder time than you should. So, Okay, so we got all four screws out of the uh, final body there. So. Now this uh, intake pipe has one more anchor bolt here, I believe. Uh, we're gonna get to that one, if we could. Uh, very tight, as you see. Absolutely tight, tight, tight. So I guess I'm gonna have to remove, um, what can I remove that'll make a difference here? There's three bolts in the bracket, but I doubt, let me see, oh yeah, oh yeah. So if I remove this one at the bottom here, I think it'll be just gonna do the trick. That's the main anchor bolt there. Okay, 
so I'm trying to I, I guess you're gonna do what you're gonna do anyway all right anyway so that pipe is now out as you see this whole part of body is loose so I'm gonna try to now go ahead and attack this uh, intake manifold which got a lot of connections to it whole lot of connections so we're gonna go ahead and try to unplug these things one by one and see where we end up I'll be back all right so we got the manifold this got a bunch of things I'm pretty sure I got more to go to disconnect so now we're just trying to get the bolts one after the other I don't know if I'm getting you a shot or not, but that's not easy here to give you a clear shot of what's going on. The one good thing about the bolts, they are captured, so. Other than that, location-wise, this is definitely a challenge. Okay, so we got this thing partially removed I think trying to remove it entirely is more work than we probably need um, not sure yet I think uh, there's a, a rubber grommet there that's holding some type of vacuum hoses and connectors um, do they have intake runners I don't know maybe but anyway uh, from this point right here you can see the thermostat so that's that right there this whole crazy looking unit right there right in the middle of the screen that's the thermostat and it has about I don't know one two three four five different hoses connected to it and I got two T10 I mean uh, E10 bolts that I gotta locate somewhere somehow Oh, so let me keep digging. Um, I might have to have to remove the the intake manifold just to go faster because I don't want to have to go on a wild goose chase looking for these bolts. Or I could reference the new part. <laughs> okay. All right. So basically, by popping off this um, grommet, I mean that you know when you pop it off and uh, slide this connector off right there, they are all attached to the. Uh, lower part of the manifold. Now I'm almost free of the manifold. It's still attached, tethered to that um, hose there and some other connection on the side, but at least, as you can see, it's completely kind of out of my way. So now I have definitely a lot better sh shot at this uh, uh, thermostat. So I'm gonna get my mirror and I'm gonna see what I see. All right, All right so we're almost out. Um, yeah, very, very tedious job, but I'll be honest with you, not for the faint of heart, for sure, for sure. Um, I would say if you're not used to doing this type of things, just stay away from this one. Uh, especially if you're driving the Mercedes, most likely you should have money to get your car fixed. So save yourself this type of headache, trust me. Uh, definitely doable, no doubt, but boy, back breaking job. There she is. Wow. Crazy. Uh, thankfully for the customer, this one got, it, it failed in an open position. So it wasn't having uh, no overheating issues, thankfully. So uh, one tool that may be very helpful, helpful doing this job would be probably one of these clamps, pliers, hose clamp pliers like these ones made by Astro it's actually my third one uh, I'm not gonna say they're the best quality because of precisely that right there in the back basically when you pull in with all the tension that's the only thing holding this thing from coming apart this little crit uh, are you in the shot god damn it yeah so this little crimp right there at the end is pretty much it I mean you got some bolts in here some riveted um, whatever nuts to hold it but that's about it man right there that's whatever tension is going on in this cable this is what's holding it very small allen bolt so I would prefer to have a, a stronger system where definitely it would be fail proof 
But anyway, long story short, I'm going to take a slight break because my, my back is hurting from doing all this crap. So, um, just going to transfer this one line, that one hose right there, and uh, we're going to take a break. Okay, so just for fun, I'm doing a resistance check uh, between the old and the new. Let me see if I can set you up where you can actually see it. I already done it. The new one is about 9.2 ohms and the old one is basically open circuited.